this week on the Hoover Boys. Little 43 signal here. They get me another button as well, so hopefully this is a coin. Still in the hole. Go fish. I think I got a coin, bro. Oh yeah, I got a coin. Got me a copper. Well, I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. Big beautiful bean field here. We got Mark over there. We got Gary up on the hill. Mark and I met up with Gary this morning. We decided to divide and conquer. Gary went one way, Mark and I went another. We decided to do some door knocking. Uh, we landed on this farm here. I, I knocked the door, got the permission at the same time that Gary got a permission. So we're dropping each other pins at the same time. Uh, we decided to try here first. If this doesn't work out, we're gonna go to Gary's spot. Either way, we're gonna have some fun, just try to save some history. Let's go. Well, my very first signal, 35. Was not expecting to see a button, very first signal, but hey, <laughs> flat button, very first signal. I figured it was going to be cancel or something. Just like that, we're underway. Got something old. 43. I guess we'll live dig that since we just found a button right behind me. That looks like wire or something. Well, I mean, no shortage of non desirables. Had to dig it though. Now this hole here just got me another button, a little tiny flat button, shanked up just like the first one, nothing on the face, not too bad. And I will say the soil here is ultra sandy, so if any coins do come up, I'm hoping they're good looking coins. I mean that's what we've seen in the past with sandy soil, usually keeps the coins looking nice, at least the copper coins. Hopefully we'll find some. Right off the bat, right? All right, maybe. Let's look in the uh, the muck box. He's got himself a tomback button. Yeah, I just picked that up. Nice big tomback button. You got a copper coin. A weedy. A weedy. Sweet. You see the date? Uh, looks like a 1944. Woo! Party ladies, that's me. Get some cool cuts. Get some cool cuts. <laughs> How about that. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not sure about that bead. It's like brass. A brass bead. Yeah. Oh yeah. The copper coins are gonna look good out of here. We gotta find a big copper. Yeah. I like it. Well I just saw Mark looking in Gary's box, so we should probably look in his box too. Oh ho ho! Beautiful Indian head scent. Yeah, this soil is nice and sandy. I figured we'd see some pretty coins if there was any coins here. We're up to a few buttons. We got any buttons yet? Yeah, that. yeah there's plenty of hunting supplies <laughs> here as well. <laughs> but not bad. Not a bad start. Little 43 signal here. They get me another button as well, so hopefully this is a coin. Still in the hole. Go fish. Huh? Oh. I think I got a coin, bro. Oh yeah, I got a coin. Got me a copper. Change camera time. There we go. Feels thin, but I already see a bus coming through there, I do believe. Uh, I'm going to have to clean it up. Come back. Need more hands. Should be able to ID it, though. Well, there you go. We got ourselves a King George III half penny. Did not clean up great, but it is a thinner coin. Uh, hopefully, if... The coin has some more details, it'll come out a little better, but there's Britannia there. No doubt about it though, for as thin as it is, I'm surprised it's holding that many details, so that's a good thing. It's so thin, when it first popped out, I thought it was going to be a big button, but got ourselves a copper. Hopefully there's more. Can't say I found a button like this before. Check out this joker. Come on camera, what are you doing? There we go. That's different. I mean, doesn't appear to be any fancy left on it, but nice shanked up button. Weird. Pie crust. <laughs> we'll call it a pie crust button. I like it. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. It's cool. Well, the pie crust button just came out over there. It's got a 41 here. 
if my me memory is correct, I believe that's how the half reals beep on this machine. Yeah, it's up to a 43. Definitely sounds like it could be a coin. I'm gonna find out here. Come on. Be a shiny coin. Might be a bent coin. Maybe another bent copper or is it a button? It's a button. Another big button. This one's I don't know if it's bent or just domed. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright. Uh, it's, uh, I can't tell if it's domed or it's supposed to be bent. It might be domed and bent, but another old button. That would beep more like a coin. High beeper. Let's continue. Well, we're getting somewhere because Gary just popped the copper down in there. Oh, wait. I'm going to pluck it out. Oh, right there. Thick boy. Yeah. Or girl. <laughs> or both. That's going to be a braided hair or something. Yeah, it's going to be a braided hair. So it's beeping 89 on the 900? Yeah. Yep. Old one cent. Big old one cent. Beautiful. There we go. Good looking copper. It is not a braided. It is a later matron. It's an 1838. Beautiful coin. Reverse needs a little more, a little more work, but that's a beautiful outburst. What else you got in your box there? No saddle strap guide. So this is a big two-piece button. Some sort of eagle. That does not look familiar. Is that a cannon at the bottom? Uh, does not look like it, but you got some buttons. All right, we're getting on it. Good job. Forty-two. Hopefully not another copper jacket and bullet. Got it out. It was not very deep. Whatever that is. That doesn't look desirable. Why did that beep so high? What even is that? It looks and feels like pottery, but it's metal. I think it's just lead. It's an arrowhead. It's a lead arrowhead. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I don't know what's going on here. Sounds like a very deep, faint coin. If I had to guess, I don't typically live dig the the deep, deep ones because sometimes the machine lies. But this one sounds mighty nice. All the way up around 50. Could be a shiny one. Definitely a deep one. Come on. Deep center hole. Come on, something shiny. Something shiny, come out. Huh? You got it. That was a deep small scent. Good night. Oh, it's an Indian. Nice. <laughs> That was a very deep little Indian. I thought we got a good date. Let's clean it up. There we go. Beautiful little Indian head scent. I was not expecting that. When I saw it was a small scent. I was like, oh, here comes a weedy. It's a 1904. Beautiful both sides. I definitely love some sandy soil coins. Give old lady Liberty a little kiss for good luck. Hopefully she has some shiny friends out here. But I, wanted, I didn't mention it in the intro, but this is just a random farm field. We knocked an old farm at the end of the lane here. They didn't answer the door, so we came back here hoping that this new house over here owned this field. They did. So there's no actual structures on the farm field that we're on right now. At least that we haven't found yet. No big iron patches or concentrations of things, but just random drops. We're finding some cool stuff. All right, onward. Dead solid 51. Could this be a silver quarter? Don't know. I'm not dug one with this machine. No clad quarters beep around 50. Oh man. <laughs> oh, big old copper jacketed bullet. Good night. Did that sound good? Hey, caramba. Just wanted to show you the amount of undesirables we're finding in this field. Tons of shotgun shells and bullet casings and bullets. Obviously there's still some more random drops out there, but what we're gonna do is change it up and go to the place where 
Gary got his permission this morning. See what's over there. Hopefully the grass is a little greener. Well, we're here. Another big old bean field. Get the farmers in the background there picking some beans. Nice old house at the end of the driveway, so hopefully there's some old stuff here. Let's find out. Well, we weren't there very long. Did a line through the field and back. It's a massive field. Another McCann's Law, so plan C. We only have a couple hours left. Hopefully there will be a plan C. Over there, let's go over there. Well, here we go again. <laughs> got a bean field back here. Got a yard right there. <laughs> Hopefully third time's the charm. Pretty solid 46 here in the yard. Have dug a memorial and a few musical reeds. Nothing old yet. I'd love for this to be old and not a memorial. I got half a plug. Go fish. Go fish. And we have a memorial. I do believe. Nope, it's a weedy. Woohoo! <laughs> oh well. Wasn't very deep, so that's a good sign. Dead 50. I'm gonna say clad quarter. I'd love to be surprised with a shiny one. No shiny anything. But it sounds like a clad quarter. Survey says. Not very deep. There it is. It's not a copper. It's not a silver. It is, in fact, a clad quarter. 25 cents for a taco. Well, towards a taco. Uh, 1987. Well, I dipped into the field. Around the house, all we could find was, well, I got a few Wheaties. Other than that, just taco money and some other flim flam. Out here in the field, it seems like all there is is can slaw. Oh, we have maybe a half an hour left. Fingers crossed we find something. <laughs> well, Mark was just looking at his old map and apparently there used to be a home site way back in the back of this place in the field. It's not there anymore, but I guess plan D. You even got a debuckle today? I did, it's gonna be deep in the dark. It's gonna be deep. <laughs> I've got a D today. Hopefully plan D's the ticket. Yeah. Good night. So we were hoping the home set sat here, but unfortunately it sat on the other side of those trees in a different field that we do not have permission to. And it's closing time. We're out of time. Uh, we left fish today to find fish. We know better than that, but it's hard not to check out a permission that you have permission to. Unfortunately, it didn't work out in our favor. Plan uh, B, C, and D, not so good, but uh, let's go over what we found today. Still trying to find that home site. I am. <laughs> find your business. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We put in some work today. Uh, nothing too great after we left the first place, but we are going to go over what we found. There's Mark stuff. He got a little strap adjuster there. And some phlegm and some flam and some rivets and some some reeds, some musical instrument, and some taco money, and some buckyballs. I guess he's got four Wheaties. Did get a little padlock out of the yard here. Piece to a buckle and three buttons. Gary. He's got that uh, two-piece that's busted, whatever that thing was. He's got a colonial grill, some, some lead teeth. <laughs> We're joking, but it looks like that. He did get a nice saddle strap guide and a thimble. He's got a couple Wheaties, and he got himself an Indian while Mark's tickling me, <laughs> and a nice 1838 large scent. I got a decent button that I really like the... Uh, the pie crust one wish it had some fancy on it but never found a button like that did pretty well on the buttons got a bird band two wheaties some musket balls a bunch of talking money out of this yard and i got an indian and i got a king george the third 1770s so we probably should have stayed there but there wasn't a whole lot <laughs> there was definitely more than these couple places <laughs> thank you guys for watching until next time help clean up the ground dig it all and take your trash with you why because all holes matter Right, buddy? All your holes mattered today, right? They did. <laughs> hey, we got a couple nice old coins out of place. Can't complain too much. Unless your name's Mark. He's <laughs> been complaining all day.
the drive of shame. <laughs> shame. The place is 1820s. Nothing around there but a couple Wheaties. Sky's beautiful. Yeah, it's, the sky's pretty. <laughs> if that's what you're into. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into shiny coins. <laughs> uh, not today. 43. That's when my KG3 beeped. Oh, there it was. It was not very deep. What is that poop? Oh, it's another bullet. Ugh.